How are you viewers? Today we will be looking at the 2017 Science Paper 2, Question B1, in our revision series of questions dealing with the more concept. Question B1 reads, A spillage of 15.5 tons of sulfuric acid results from an accident of a road tanker. Slack line is used to neutralize the acid according to the equation below. A spillage of 15.5 tons of sulfuric acid results from an accident of a road tanker. Select line is used to neutralize the acid according to the equation below. And the equation is sulfuric acid, or rather aqueous sulfuric acid, reacts with calcium hydroxide, which is solid, producing calcium sulfate, solid, and liquid water. So it's aqueous sulfuric acid plus solid calcium hydroxide producing solid calcium sulfate plus liquid water. The first part of the question, A, balance the equation above. Balance the equation above. So we are required to balance the above equation. So first things first, we need to write down the equation before we can even try to balance it. So that is our equation. Now we we we'll balance this equation by inspection. Now, I always remind uh, students to always balance hydrogen and oxygen last. So in our inspection, we will look at hydrogen and oxygen last. So first and foremost, what we are going to do is check for uh, the elements that are not hydrogen and oxygen. And we have two of these elements, sulfur and calcium. So if we look closely on the reactant side, sulfur is found in the sulfuric acid. And we have one atom of sulfur on the reactant side. And when we go to the product side, sulfur is found in calcium sulfate. And we have one atom of sulfur. So the number of atoms of sulfur on both sides is equal. Then, therefore, the number of sulfur atoms are balanced. We turn our attention to calcium. On the reactant side, we have one atom of calcium. And on the product side, we have one atom of calcium. Hence, we have no problems with calcium. Then we turn our attention to uh, the oxygen or the hydrogen. We can choose whatever we want. So we can start with the, the hydrogen. On the reactant side, we have two atoms of hydrogen in sulfuric acid and two atoms of hydrogen in calcium hydroxide. But on the reactant side, we only have two atoms of hydrogen, which is in water. So we need to balance that. Now what do we do? We need to find a number that we're going to multiply by 2 to give us 4. So therefore, we are going to actually multiply the 2 by 2 so that we have 4 hydrogens and we'll write a 2 on water like that. So now we have 4 atoms of hydrogen on the products and four atoms of hydrogen on the reactant. We now look at oxygen. We have four atoms of oxygen on the sulfuric acid and two atoms of oxygen in the calcium hydroxide. So four plus two gives us six. While on the product side, we have four atoms of oxygen in the calcium sulfate and two atoms of oxygen in the water. Therefore, our equation is balanced. So this is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. We can now move to the next part of the question, which is B, part B. So part B again, they are saying 
determine the relative formula mass of calcium hydroxide. Determine the relative formula mass of calcium hydroxide. Uh, here, when they mean formula mass, the relative formula mass is the equivalent of relative molecular mass. Only that relative molecular mass only deals with the molecular compounds, which are obviously covalent compounds. For ionic compounds, we cannot say relative molecular because ionic compounds are not molecules. Hence, we use formula. Now, to determine this, we first need to write down the formula for calcium hydroxide, like that. So this is the formula for calcium hydroxide, and just the way we answer, we find the relative molecular mass, we are going to do the same for the calcium hydroxide. Now we are going to start with the hydrogen. We ask ourselves, how many atoms of hydrogen are there? The two outside the bracket cut us for everything that is in the bracket. So it means that we have two atoms of hydrogen there. Okay. Now, what is the relative atomic mass for hydrogen? So two times one, which is equal to two. So the relative uh, mass for hydrogen in calcium hydroxide is two. We do the same for oxygen. We have two atoms of oxygen times 16, which will give us 32. 32. Now, uh, we turn our attention to calcium. Calcium we only have because the two is not catering for calcium. Calcium is outside the bracket. So we only have one atom of calcium multiplied by 40, which is the relative atomic mass for calcium, giving us 40. So now we add 40 plus 32, which gives us uh, 72. 72 plus 2 gives us 74. So now we are then going to say, therefore, the relative formula mass for calcium hydroxide is 74. Remember, relative uh, formula and relative molecular masses have got no units. They have no units. So we write it like that. And we move on to the next part of our question. Move to the next part of our question. And in this part, they are saying, part C says, use the balanced equation to determine the mass of calcium sulfate formed during the neutralization. Use the balanced equation to determine the mass of calcium sulfate formed during the neutralization of uh, the split acid. So now we need to get back to the question. We need to get back to the question. The question is saying a spillage of 15.5 tons. Now, whenever they say tons, this is mass. So they've given us the mass, 15.5 tons of what? Sulfuric acid. Okay. So they've given us the mass of uh, sulfuric acid. And in our question, they want us to determine the mass of calcium sulfate. So this is a mass to mass calculation. This is a mass to mass calculation. And the relationship is between sulfuric acid and calcium sulfate. The relationship is between sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid, they've given us the mass of sulfuric acid that was spilt. And they want us to find the mass of calcium sulfate that was formed. So we use what we've been given to get what they want us to get. So the relationship here will be sulfuric acid in relation to calcium sulfate. So sulfuric acid in relation to calcium sulfate. So sulfuric acid to calcium sulfate. Now we find 
uh, the relative masses for sulfuric acid. Now, uh, if we calculate uh, the relative mass for sulfuric acid is 98. So we write 98 and that of calcium sulfate is 136. Now remember, in most of our calculations, we use grams. But in this particular case, they've told us that these are tons. So we will treat it as 98 tons of sulfuric acid produces 136 tons of calcium sulfate. Therefore, we will now write 15.5 tons producing X because we don't know what 15 tons will produce. So there is 15.5 tons. After this part, we will cross multiply. Now, when we cross multiply, it is going to be 98 times X is equal to 15.5 times 136. There. So 98 times X is equal to 15.5 times 136. Okay, now we have now multiplied. So 98 times X is 98 X and 15.5 times 136 gives us uh, 2,108. 2,108. Now we will now divide both sides by 98. So 98 divided by 98 and 2,108 divided by 98. So 98 into 98 into 98, that is 1. So it cancels, 98 cancels with the 98. But 98 into 2,000. 108 gives us 21.5. Now, remember, these are tons. So we will now say, therefore, X is equal to 21.5 tons of calcium sulfate. So 21.5 tons of calcium sulfate were produced. Okay, now we move on. Now we move on to the last, we move on to the last part of the question. And the last part of the question is saying, calcium hydroxide is a base. Calcium hydroxide is a base. Which ion present in the compound is responsible for its basic properties. Calcium hydroxide is a base. Which ion present in the compound is responsible for its basic property? Now, here, or we will borrow the concept of alkalis. What is an alkali? An alkali is a water-soluble base. And once an alkali uh, dissolves in water, its ions dissociate. And all bases will produce an OH negative ion, which is a hydroxide ion. Therefore, from the name calcium hydroxide, we know that it has a hydroxide ion which will be responsible for all the basic properties. Therefore, the answer there is the hydroxide ion, which is the OH ion. So you can either write it in words, which is hydroxide ion, or you can just write the formula, which is OH negative ions there. So, If it is, it is in words,
So that is that. So this brings us to the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions that you would like me to solve, please uh, post it in the comment section below. Or if it is from a past paper, just tell me the year, uh, the type of exam, and the question number. And I will gladly uh, do a video on that particular question. Uh, if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. See you next time.